hope you are having a blessed day. Today is Christmas Eve, so I would like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas, and I hope that the Lord blesses you with his love and his light tomorrow and all next year. We are here today with our next little project, and as you can see, it's on the wall behind me. I started out thinking I was going to do a, another, another in the series of disappearing potato chip blocks, but this thing is so pretty, I don't know as to whether or not I can really cut it up. So my plan is this. I'm going to make two more blocks for this in rainbow fashion. Rainbow, rainbow, rainbow! Rainbows! We have violet, pink, red, orange, yellow, green, turquoise, and blue. So we're going to do two more blocks. I have to do a turquoise and a blue and then I'm thinking we're going to add some black sashing to it and it's going to be baby quilt size and I think that the black sashing will really make the blocks explode and be very very colorful so let me turn the camera around we'll get these two more blocks made and then we can get started with the sashing Okay, I apologize for the mess here on my little table here. Uh, these are the dark blue, turquoise, green, yellow, orange, red, pink, purple. So this is what we are working with and each block takes 18 pieces. And at this point I need a turquoise and a blue. I'm just cutting or just picking out 18 pieces hopefully different so i hope you all survived in this winter vortex or whatever they're calling it told us they got here i think was negative 21 in a feel like negative 23 and feel like and last time i looked it was eight degrees and the wind has started to die down so it's feeling a little bit like eight degrees instead of negative as you know we are taking our first two pieces and we are running them through the machine and i'm just going to finger press that's what i've been doing for the whole thing okay and now we are taking the next two pieces and they will go like this and this My husband and I had an interesting little mid-afternoon snack. We've had the wood stove going crazy, trying to keep us warm. And he tossed a sweet potato in the stove and it came out so good. He wrapped it in foil and oh, it was delicious. Okay, that is the third round, as you can see. And now we're going to do the double stack on this side and on this side.
there is where we are now. Now we're going to be doing the last piece, the last two pieces, and that is three strips going down both these sides. So I start, and these are all going to be light. be done. one is blue I'm going to turn the camera off so I will come back to you as soon as I have the blue one all done okay here is our quilt and I am happy with this layout I've tried others and it just looked it didn't look as as nice I know that you know the yellows the worms are over here and pools are over here but I'm okay with that it kind of wraps we start at blue turquoise green yellow orange red pink purple, blue, turquoise, green, and yellow. So I like the flow of that. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to get out some black fabric. I'm not sure which fabric I'm going to use yet, but I will cut some sashing and we can get together sewing that. I think I will probably go with the standard. Maybe, maybe what we'll do is we'll do a thinner sash. Maybe what we can do is one and a half inch so it would be a one inch so it'd be a little bit thinner so let me, let me pull out some fabric and we'll get to work on that i looked at several different black fabrics that i had and i decided that the solid black looked the best and i'm going with a one and a half inch unfinished sashing okay we have our first row of blocks here and i have trimmed them down to 12 and a half inches and i'm going to be sewing the sashing in between the blocks i thought it made the the blocks pop the best so I start left to right this one is going horizontal so the next one I want to go vertical the, the center two pieces making sure that the seams lay the way they want to lay I can't see the black here that's the disadvantage of working on a black machine is our first intersection and I, I like it I think it looks really good so I'm going to march on with this and I will come back when I have all of the sashings done I'm not doing anything fancy again I'm using a one and a half inch strip so I have a 
one inch finished sashing. There are four blocks in each row. There are three blocks. Once I get done doing all of the blocks in between the blocks with the sashing, then I'll sew the rows together. Here are our sashings between the blocks. Now I'm going to cut one and a half inch strip by the full width of the quilt top and get that sewn on and I will be back to wrap this up. Well, here it is, YouTube. I have the internal sashings all done, and I am thinking that I'm going to add an additional sash all the way around the quilt top, and then I'm going to lay out all of these extra rainbow colors as a border. So I'm gonna sew a big long strip of them together in rainbow fashions and that'll go all the way around the quilt. So we're here on Christmas Eve and we got this project all wrapped up. I think it's going to be a very nice Okay, I decided to come back because I actually finished the quilt and I think it's just darling. So I have the one and a half inch sashing all around and um, then the same same sashing I used for the first border. And the second border is the two and a half inch by four and a half inch strips. I sewed them together in the rainbow, rainbow colors and I think it just came out so pretty. So once again, this is another amazing quick quilt that you can make with the potato chip block. So here we are in front of our lovely colorful rainbow quilt. Uh, once again, it's another potato chip block. This, this block just never ceases to amaze me how quickly it goes together and how beautiful it looks. It can be silly, it can be scrappy, it can be coordinated, it can be designer, or in this case it can be rainbow. So we are done with this one it's on the it's going to go on the pile that needs to be quilted and hopefully we are going to start doing some quilting soon and i want to thank you all so much for watching i want to thank you all so much for subscribing and leaving comments and letting me know that you enjoy my videos and i want to wish each and every one of you a blessed christmas and i hope that the lord does shine his love his light and his glory on your life so on that note, I am going to get out of here. It is actually Christmas morning. I don't know, probably one o'clock or so. I'm going to get out of here now. So I want to thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you right back here next time on 70 Acres Studio. Take care. God bless. Good night, Elizabeth. Good night, Campbell.